Hello, I'm Xinhua News Agency correspondent Jiang Jiang. Here I'm at the Lahar converter station of the Martiani Lahar transmission line project. Most of the equipment around me were made in China. Today we are going to take a look at this great project. You can see now I'm wearing a hamlet and also a special clothes. It is a requirement to meet the safety standard here. So today we also have the chance to invite Mr. Zhou Quanhui, the on-site manager, to tell us a little bit about this project. Mr. Mr. Zhou. Hello, uh, Jiang Could you first tell us a little bit about this project? From the construction to the completion, the construction took 9 months to complete. Mr. Zhou said that it. It took about 27 months to complete this project, and this project was completed on September the 1st, 2021. So, Mr. Zhou, uh, we heard that actually this project it has lots of Chinese elements. Could you tell us uh, what is the percentage of the supplements here, equipments here, were made from China? Uh, 周周总啊，您能不能告诉我一下，大概这里的这个有百分之多少的设备是国产的？设备的国产化率达到了百分之九十八以上，呃，充分带动了国内呃高压交直流输变电设备的出口。Electricity transmission project made in China to other countries. Uh, Zhou Zong, uh, 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 Mr. Zhou, could you also tell us, you know, we now have, uh, the China is adopted a green development path and emphasize to lowering the uh, carbon uh, trans, uh, emission. So, can you tell us a little bit about how this project is made uh, about the solution in this aspect and what about the results? Okay.好的,呃,这个莫拉直流输电项目化嘞,是充分采用了中国国家电网自主知识产权政府六六零千伏直流输电技术,充分发挥了其输送容量大,远距离效率高,损耗低的优势, 把巴基斯坦南部丰富的电力资源远距离输送到了巴基斯坦那个输送到了马庞扎布省伊斯兰堡等大府河的用电中心 uh, So Mr. Zhou said that uh, the technology here used is from the state grade which is a green technology and uh, it has a high capacity uh, a low loss of electricity and a very high uh, efficiency, and uh, it can help transmit the electricity resources from the southern part of Pakistan to the northern part of the country, such as the uh, Punjab province and Islamabad. Uh, 也了解到就是这边的技术啊，是用了很多不同各样各种各样的技术。那么您能否呢，也帮我们邀请一位懂这个相关的这个技术方面的这个专业的同事呢，也请他向我们大家介绍一下技术方面这个特色。So I asked Miss Jo to introduce another colleague who can tell a little bit more about the equipment here.好，这今天正好在值班的是我们负责。整个运维的值班员王同路，由他来从技术上把我们的这个项目给你做一介绍。Oh, thank you, Mr. Zhou. Mr. Wang, uh, thank you very much for uh, joining us. So, uh, could you tell us a little bit about the differences between this facility and this facility here? Uh, yes. Uh, you know, our DC system need a uh, con uh, con continuous uh, operation. And uh, uh, if there are some big problem with our uh, transformer during uh, operation, we need to uh, replace it uh, uh, with the uh, uh, standby transformer uh, in a short time. Okay, so uh, can you also tell us a little bit about your daily job? Uh, you work for the maintenance and operation team. Yeah, so what yes. What does your daily job look like? Uh, 
for our operations team, uh, we carry out a routine equipment inspection every day, and um, expect the bigger equipment. We also have more than one thousand primary equipment and more than four hundred panels in the whole station, and uh, uh, we need a, a finished tire uh, operators and the maintenance team by daily, by uh, weekly, and mostly. It depends on uh, tire different uh, importance. I see. So we can see some other staff was working there. Yes. Would you uh, introduce them to us and uh, we can have a communication with them? Okay, okay, that's good. Hello? Uh, uh, he is my, our uh, maintenance class uh, monitor, Liu Hao. And these two are uh, our Pakistan engineers, uh, Harris and uh, Saad. Okay, so we have one Chinese colleague here and two Pakistani colleagues here. Yes. So let's uh, have a communication with them one by one. Uh, hello. Uh, hello. Could you tell us a little bit about this big equipment? What, what is made, is that made for? Ah, oh, uh, we call this equipment the converter transformer. Uh, it used to uh, change the voltage like a bridge between our AC yard and uh, DC yard. It likes uh, the road between our expressway and our normal road to uh, as a bridge. Yes. Thank you. And uh, uh, so you work for uh, like a maintenance team. Could you tell us a little bit about what was your occupation? What was your duty yes. here? Uh, good day. First of all, my name is Saad Abdullah. And uh, I've been working as a trainee engineer here at uh, Lahore HVDC station. Uh, my duties mainly consist of working with other teams to complete tasks that are essential for the smooth and stable operation of the HVDC line. Okay, so what was the most challenging thing in your job? The most uh, challenging thing was, uh, well, uh, the system, uh, the HVDC system is quite complex. So, uh, mainly because there is such high-tech apparatus here, so understanding some parts of this system can require quite a bit of effort. Uh, fortunately, uh, our uh, Pakistani and uh, Chinese senior engineers have been very cooperative and their guidance has been so far instrumental for me in helping to me to visualize uh, the processes running at the station. Thank you. Can you tell us when you joined this team? Okay, my name is Muhammad Haris Mahmood. I am an electrical inge engineer in the field of operations uh, and I am here for about approximately nine months now. Okay, so uh, what was your interaction with uh, Chinese colleagues here on and off your work? Okay. So on, uh, on work we are, uh, we are colleagues but uh, off work we are mostly brothers. We often have dinners together and we have also taught them how to play cricket so we play cricket regularly as well. Apart from that we have an English corner where we all take part in extracurricular activities. Hence, we all try our level best to help our brothers, the Chinese brothers, to have a memorable time in Pakistan. I see. So, what was your impression about the Chinese technology here? Yeah, I am very proud to be working in the first HVDC project of Pakistan. Uh, it is one of the flagship projects of CPEC project and uh, it is a backbone of our power systems. And um, apart from that, yeah. Uh, the, this, uh, the thing which admired me and I am amazed is the reliability index of this project and the stability it has provided to our power transmission system. And uh, apart from that, the most important thing is that uh, it has helped reduce the transmission line losses. Uh, and the most important thing is uh, China has gone one step forward now. Uh, it is the first country in the world which has an 1100 kV HVDC project. Hence, this, this shows uh, the, the marvels China has achieved in this field. Okay, so uh, have you ever been to China yourself? Fortunately, yes, I have been there for my master's studies. Uh, in fact, I feel very proud to be studying in one of the top universities of China, that is Shan Tong University. Oh, that sounds great. So, uh, what was your impression about China? Well, for the first few weeks, I was very astonished uh, for a boy living in Pakistan, a, develop, a developing country, and uh, getting a chance to study in a superpower country. It was more than a blessing for me. Yeah. And uh, to conclude my answer, I would like to say that the uh, people, uh, the Ch Chinese people, 
their determination uh, towards their nation building it was remarkable and yes uh, you can see the results here thank you okay uh, so how do you comment about the relationship friendship between uh, chinese and pakistani colleagues and people okay basically the friendship uh, of pakistan china bond it's basically about a people to people bonding and as we know a friend in need is a friend indeed so people of both nations they have tried their level best to help each other in the in the time of need so this has made the bond even more stronger and remember uh, remarkable as well everyone knows that our friendship is higher than himalayas and deeper than the uh, oceans so yes it's true and the world has never witnessed a more beautiful uh, bond uh, before and never will be Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So let's move forward. Uh, we can see that actually all these colleagues they have a good relationship with each other, yeah. and they interact with each other a lot. And the job is not a very easy job. And uh, uh, actually, I'm curious to know that uh, there is something like the air conditioner yeah. machine here. What was that machine for? Okay, uh, that that's fine. We call the cooler, mm -hmm. uh, and uh, is uh, sim is is this uh, similar with our air condition? Mm -hmm. During during the normal operation, mm -hmm. uh, the temperature around the transformer uh -huh. will reach more than sixty uh -huh. degrees. So, uh, in they need uh, to be cooled uh, mm -hmm. all the time. So we use the fans. I see. So you have brought up the topic of temperature. Yeah. So temperature actually. Uh, it's a little bit high here. So, are you used to that? The high temper temperature bring a huge challenge to us all. Mm -hmm. uh, we never meet the uh, the temperature, you know, uh, 43, 44 mm -hmm. in China. Uh -huh. So, uh, in under this temperature, we needn't uh, uh, do work to do any work. Just uh, stand outside, you will be uh, sweating. Mm -hmm. um, but, uh, but we. We representing our country, mm -hmm. so uh, uh, we we have one we have one sentence we always see. Mm -hmm. We will never uh, we will not take a half a step back uh -huh. from difficult. Uh -huh. uh, so no matter how big the challenge, uh, it won't, won't uh, move our determination to building the our overseas project. I can see that people here really contributed a lot to make sure that this uh, project is a success. And uh, uh, can you tell us what was your idea about the meaning of this project, especially to the local society, to the people here? Uh, I can use two numbers yeah. to prove that. Uh -huh. uh, firstly, uh, the project had uh, about uh, 3,500 megawatts uh, uh, transmission capability uh, to Pakistan's power grid. Uh, the second is uh, we uh, provide uh, uh, high quality and uh, clean uh, uh, electricity to uh, to about uh, 9.3 million Pakistan local family. That was very impressive. So you mentioned that uh, this is actually has a great co contribution to the society, to the community here. And as our communication with the colleagues there, they also mentioned that in this area, in this uh, station, actually people from Pakistan, people from Chinese, China, they interact with each other a lot. Can you tell us a little bit about your self-experience of, you know, communicating, interacting with the Pakistani people here? Uh, yes, uh, in our in work, mm -hmm. uh, we established the uh, uh, master and uh, apprentice uh, friendship because okay. we operate team all uh, most of all our operate team come from Shandong province uh -huh. uh, you know the hometown of Kongs and uh, Mengs ah, okay. so uh, we use this uh, 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 master and apprentice friendship uh -huh. to help Pakistan uh, engineers to uh, ice breaking oh, okay. and uh, from the one to one teaching uh -huh. They can learn the uh, DC uh, technology, DC skills, uh -huh. 
uh, quickly, mm -hmm. very quickly, yes. Uh -huh. What was the result? Uh, how do you feel about the Chinese culture? Uh, Chinese uh, the, I mean, the, you just mentioned that they interact with you uh, a lot. So how do you feel the, feel the result? Do you have a good relationship? In yeah, yes. Uh, I, I only, uh, uh, before I come here, I only heard uh, we call the Pakistan uh, people Batye. Uh -huh. But uh, only when we arrived in Pakistan, uh -huh. we uh, felt tired uh, recognition, recognition and uh, passion uh -huh. to, to, us, China, to us Chinese people. Uh -huh. And uh, now, we, with our uh, Pakistan uh, engineers, we are not only uh, uh, master and apprentice, uh -huh. also, uh, we are also brother. I see. So now we can see that we have walked out of the, uh, the equipment area and it seems that there are some other buildings here. Are you, li are you people living here? Yes, yes. Uh -huh. We all live in, uh, in the, this station, okay. live together. Uh -huh. so, you, so in your spare time, you also do some activities here, right? Some sports? Some Chinese sports or some Pakistan. Yes, yes, we have uh, many uh, special activities, uh, just uh, like uh, uh, national ball exchange uh -huh. activity. Oh. Uh, we teach them ping pong. Oh, okay. They teach us uh, cricket. Oh, that's very interesting. Yes. You, have you ever participated in any such kind of sports yourself? Uh, I join them a lot. Okay. And uh, you very you in uh, cricket, I is this the uh, first time I do the. Uh, Play this this this, this uh, ball and uh, uh, very interesting. Yes. Okay. Uh, so, uh, what was your thoughts about the uh, China and Pakistan friendship, and uh, how do you think about the uh, impact of the Belt and Road Initiative to through this project? Um, can I use one uh, word? Yeah. Uh, I learned uh, one word with uh, my Pakistan uh, friend. Uh -huh. uh, is a uh, uh, to describe uh, to describe uh, our long friendship uh -huh. is uh, Chen Pakistan do What does that mean? Um, long friendship between China and the Pakistan people. That's very interesting. Yeah. So we can see that actually there are lots of efforts being paid here and there are also lots of achievement and success. Uh, I think that people here, they, they do not just represent the profession of Chinese workers, they also represent the business card of Chinese image. And uh, people from different countries, they can see the, uh, better understand the development of China here. Uh, thank you very much, Mr. Wang. Thank very you. nice talking to you today. Thank you. Thank you. So, uh, I, I feel that it's a great experience to really come to a station in Pakistan and feel the culture, feel how people interact with each other here. And uh, uh, it also uh, enabled me to know that actually this is not very easy project. People have paid a lot here. So uh, that is much about uh, our uh, live show today of this station. And uh, I think it is just a epitome of the Chinese companies, Chinese technologies, and Chinese peoples going overseas. And uh, uh, through the Belt and Road Initiative, also from the China and Pakistan uh, Economic Corridor, China can give the world a chance to learn that uh, how China provides a solution to building a community with a shared future for humans, and also uh, promoted the uh, economic development of the world. Uh, this is the end of today's live broadcast. Thank you very much.